Rule is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, I have serious objection to today's uh, hearings and the partisan nature in which I think that we're setting this up. Even the title, Confronting Zuckerberg's uh, Private Funding of Election Administration. I think all of us can agree that no private funding should be funding our elections. It should be public funding, and it should be adequate funding. As ranking member of the election subcommittee and the author and sponsor of the John Robert Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, I understand deeply the importance of safe, secure, and accessible elections. As someone who was raised in Selma, Alabama, and learned at the feet of foot soldiers such as John Lewis and Amelia Boynton Robinson, the very importance of the right to vote, I really have no tolerance for the unrelenting assault the unrelenting assault on voting rights perpetrated by the partisan and extreme organizations represented by today's Republican witnesses. Dr. Flounder's uh, law firm known as Will was involved in a 2019 lawsuit seeking to purge 200,000 voters from the rolls in Wisconsin. Will has litigated to restrict voting rights and advance Republican interests. I'd like to submit for the record an article from the document, uh, democracy document entitled, The Little Known Wisconsin Legal Group Wreaking Havoc on Democracy. Will is funded by, without objection. Will is funded by the Bradley Foundation, a dark money group that has spent millions to restrict voter rights and to stroke and to stoke uh, election denial. Ms. Hemings' organization, Hemingway's organization, allegedly included a quote black crime tag on articles it published documenting crimes allegedly perpetrated by black Americans. Their, their website has also made numerous false claims of widespread voter fraud. One of their major funders is a billionaire who also funded the January 6th pro-Trump rally that preceded the uh, horrible attacks on our capital of January 6th. With records like these, I believe that these witnesses are not qualified to talk about election integrity. On average, administering a presidential election costs anywhere from two to three billion dollars, but Congress has only helped to offset four percent of these expenses. Herein lies the problem. Congress has only provided financial assistance three times in the past two decades, amounting to a mere drop in the bucket of what is needed to equitably run elections and protect election workers and secure our, our democracy for all Americans. Inadequate funding of elections has significant consequences in minority, rural, and underserved communities throughout America, especially in my district. Voters are forced to wait in long lines. Poll locations are changed without notice. Polling stations and polling sites run out of ballots hours before they are set to close. And election workers face increasing threats to their very lives. Instead of spending our time and resources focusing on these issues, I believe we're wasting our time exploring false narratives about the big lie of a stolen 2020 presidential election and false narratives about American voters. Mr. Chairman, we need to focus on ending voter suppression. In one example, conservative activists made unlawful robocalls to black voters in Detroit in the run-up to the 2020 election. They told potential voters that if they voted by mail, their personal information would be provided in a public database used by police departments to track down old warrants and be used by credit card companies to collect outstanding debts. These two activists were later uh, fined by the FEC, but it underscores how far conservative extremism will go to keep black voters from voting. After taking control of Twitter, Elon Musk dismantled the platform's system for flagging false election content. He has a history of promoting unsubstantiated voter fraud allegations and interference threats. The list goes on and on, Mr. Chairman, and I would like to submit for the record unanim and seek unanimous consent for the various articles that prove that point. In closing, I just want to remind all of us that we have a great opportunity, this committee, to actually fund 
public funding of elections and restore integrity. We should be focused on that and not on partisan politics. I think it's really important that we take charge of what we can control, which is public funding. May Thank I respond? Go back. The, no, the, the gentlewoman yields.